Social media is everywhere these days, including in the healthcare sector. Here with us to tell us more from the INSEAD Alumni Healthcare Summit in Paris is Marc Michel. He's the director of Greater Than One in Europe, and Greater Than One is a marketing digital agency that's focused on healthcare. Mark, welcome to NCAD Knowledge. Tell me about Greater Than One. What is your business model? Okay, Greater Than One is a, a New York City uh, founded company. Um, we are a digital marketing services agency. We were founded 10 years ago. We just celebrated our 10 uh, year anniversary. And three years ago, we opened up our first office in Europe um, based on the demand and the fact that digital is becoming increasingly critical or crucial to, uh, to healthcare uh, services. How is social media driving healthcare today? Um, well, there's two uh, ways that that's probably happening. Um, I think on the one hand, uh, you're seeing the uh, concept of the empowered patient. And you have patients who are demanding or driving uh, innovations or uh, unmet needs to be met uh, by the manufacturers and by the uh, device companies. Um, on the other hand, I think you can also use uh, social media to help to develop or create ideas um, in, in partnership with either the manufacturing companies or the pharmaceutical companies or even at the groundswell layer. So you might see a group of physicians or a group of uh, surgeons who might come together to develop an idea or a product using some of the social media tools and collaboration tools that exist. And there's some physician communities that help to support that as well. One of the challenges I think is a lot of people want to uh, just go ahead and start doing things because they say, okay, well, social media is important, so I'm just going to start Twittering or tweeting or we're going to open up a blog, um, but it's not linked to the metrics or the business objectives. So I think NC had helped to uh, you know, realize that it's important to take that first step back and, and, and take a deep breath and analyze um, what are the business objectives, how are we going to measure this, how are we going to analyze it, and what's the process that we need to have in place in order to make this work. Because it's not going to happen just by chance. What kind of conversations do patients have with each other on social media? Are they kind of managing their diseases or telling each other how to cope? It's a combination of both. I think uh, there's definitely uh, an area where the, both caregivers and patients are looking at to see um, how uh, others are coping or dealing with their disease. A lot of them are talking about empowerment. They want to get on with their life. Uh, one of the gaps that they had in terms of the health information was really in terms of coping with disease. We see that across all uh, disease state groups. So you'll find a lot of clinical information online. You'll find a lot of um, product-related information around a, a, a device or a uh, pharmaceutical product, but what you didn't see too much was, okay, how do we cope with this disease? How do I take charge of my life? How do I empower myself to deal with this chronic con condition? Having said all that, what's your vision of the healthcare sector and social media in the future? Three to five years. I think that we'll see uh, Many more physicians coming on to communities that are going to be uh, uh, providing a host of services and tools. Um, some of them will be global in nature, other ones will be linked to specialty areas. Um, the, in the looking glass, um, for me, I think the iPhone and the iPad are going to be a, a game changer in terms of the device and, and, and the usability of the tools. Uh, they're going to be connecting with others, it's the short messages, it's the getting access to information very quickly, but on demand. But one of the things that uh, certainly will, will be happening is that the clinics and the hospitals will become wired. Uh, so I think the iPad is gonna become a game changer there, and early indications uh, are showing that, uh, in fact, that many hospitals, in particular North America, are intent on deploying iPads uh, throughout the, the clinic or hospital setting. Mark, Michelle, thank you very much for being with us on NCAD Knowledge. Well, thank you so much. It's been a pleasure to have this chat with you.